Hello and welcome to Shadows 2 Perfidia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I already played Shadows 1 and 2. It's been a while since I did play those. Um, I just remember it's sort of a, a loop styled uh, game. It, it's sort of spooky. It does a great job in atmosphere in comparison to others, if I recall. But I played Shadows 2 quite a while ago. Um, the link probably in the description below if you want to see the original Shadows 1 and Shadows 2. But this is apparently a remake or a sequel or just a remastery of the second game. And here it says here, Shadows 2 is back with new levels, new scares, new possibilities. Play in the dark and wear headphones for full experience. And let's see, we have inventory, a flashlight, the scroll equals intensity. And E is to focus light, space is eyes? I, 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 I just don't even. Um, other options? Oh, geez. Uh, I'll do no crosshair, just make the screenshots look nicer. Mouse sensitivity, mouse intensity! Uh, V-Sync off, hand analyzing on. Uh, sure, sure. Next, holy shit, there's more options. Shadow distance. Shadows will automatically be automatically disabled if the distance is less than 12 due to flickering. Uh, there's no number here. How am I supposed to know if this is fucking 12 or not? Oh, well, either way, yeah. Go back. Go back, and let's try to remember the controls, because I'm probably going to forget. Let's hit tutorial. Why, why, why not? Okay, F-toggles flashlight, running at high power, blah, blah, blah. Wait, running at high power. E to focus flash on a specific area. This can be used to slow down attacking monsters. That That is important. Use mouse scroll to change the intensity of the beam. I'll probably keep it low intensity then, at least until I can like, see the area. Uh, mouse button to interact with items. Doors. Okay. Tab accesses inventory. And opens up diary. Why, why not J for journal? I, I don't get N. I, I, I don't understand. Well, I guess N for notebook, but I mean, diaries aren't notebooks. Journal! Diary! Those are more similar. When you hear your heart pounding, use space to shut your eyes and regain calm. Regain calm. Sure. Left control toggles crouch. Use this tie for monsters. Improve your night vision. One and two between available lights. If I remember, there are flares, but they sucked. Inventory, sanity, the symbol ref ref that reflects your mental condition. So it's like amnesia. Soda can, drinking calms, your down, calms you down and restores sanity. Soda and sanity come hand in hand. Battery indicates that and diary, sure. If you hear threatening sounds, you should usually move away from them fast. Lights attract monsters. Turn off your flashlight when you're being hunted. Sprinting too much will exhaust you. And keep your God, there's so much to have to remember. Okay, well... Glowing interactive objects, you can die without any bigger consequences. Keys are hard to find. Once you die, you lose. Fuck no. Normal. Fuck. Each character starts in a different segment of the office and plays a distinct role in the story. A retired dude and similar dude with a striped shirt. We got one option. We got the retired Michael dude. I think it was Michael. I already forgot his name. Let's get into it. 23.56 or 11.56 p.m. Office segment B. Loading. Oh, you guys getting hyped as I am? Oh shit, I'm so hyped. I mean, I I'm curious, definitely. Sure. Did that just, yeah, it it's glowing. Tab to open inventory. Okay, so this is what the inventory looks like. You are all right. The battery is okay. S smartphone messages. Um, messages. I have none. Comes in handy. Uh -huh. Okay. So. Huh. So that's the intensity beam difference. I don't know it's too much of a difference. We're going to keep it low. Uh, outside of that. Oh, so that's the beam focus, but I think that drains it much faster. I have to make sure E is not to use object. I'm used to E being use object, so we're going to... Okay, never mind about the drawers underneath, or these drawers. Coffee machine. Yeah! I already got my cup of joe, but... 
You made coffee already. What is it? Fucking cappuccino? Yes. Our character has drunk coffee. I'm happy now. I'm happy. If our character is happy, then I am happy. DNA key to love stories end? Okay. I think that's all we can do in here, except actually... We didn't examine this. Can we get some water too? It's in, it's in, it's in Russian. Russian water. I don't know what Russian water tastes like. Hmm. Oh, they're renovating this room. The door is blocked. Why would they be renovating it with an open door? Okay, I get, I'm guessing that one's locked. Oh, man, wait. This room is completely goddamn familiar. I remember L2. Well, hey, a John Deere tractor! With, oh, with the, with the stormtrooper on it. I actually have one of these pictures on my computer. There's, like, a, an artist who paints... Uh, Star Wars themed stuff over top really classical looking pictures. I, I have one I think is like Darth Vader on a fishing boat going fishing and there's the like the Death Star in the sky. Uh, I, I love that shit. I'm sorry to see you go Mike. Hell, we've worked together a long time. This place just won't be the same without you. I know, I know it's your decision. Oops. Uh, but I don't have to be happy about it. Let's grab a beer sometime soon. Joe! Oh, thanks Joe. I still have my problem with my, my hand being too heavy for its own good, and I hit right click or left click when I don't want to hit it. So bear in mind, I might do that accidentally here and there. Oh, so how's my battery going? Flashlight is still okay. I'm, I'm Yeah, it's sort of okay. I remember actually I had a problem with the flashlight where I kept... Yellow. I kept running out of batteries, I think. I think. I can't 100% remember it. I had to relook at my own episode. I think the key was to unlock that door. So I'm going to just continue this way first. Ha ha! Some soda. Some unimportant papers. That's, that's good to know. Oh, that isn't that romantic. Oh, that's a uh, that's a new way of making out with your partner, I guess. I I, I don't think I'd be into that, because I mean, I mean, if, I don't think I need to explain why I wouldn't want that to happen. I, I yeah. You you want to jam your faces together only temporarily. After that, then you sort of want to break. You, you don't want you want to be mashing faces forever. Trust me. The elevator is this way, and to the left? Why should I give a shit about the elevator? Mm. Ah! Go to your room, lock the door, and turn off the lights. Now! Why, because this picture is scary? Sure, let's just... Hmm... I wonder if I should listen to this text message. Let, let's see if it's part of the story. I'll run. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah. Left control to turn off your flashlight and get used to the darkness. No, oh, I don't remember this in the game. Am I even hiding from anything? Huh? What? Strange. What the fuck? Who the hell was that? I had to keep my head down and get to the elevator fast. Whoever's out there, I can't let them see me. Why the fuck with the paranoia? My flashlight's really low. I need more batteries. Apparently it's dead midnight as well. So I have to stay crouched and go to the elevator now? Why would I want to be hide? I'm in the offices. Wouldn't I think it's just a fucking coworker?
Okay, maybe I should run then. I heard footsteps, but I didn't see anything. The game is telling me to run. I'm, I'm gonna take its opinion. Floor 7. Why would my... The text told me to hide. Like, it could be just be a social experiment or a prank, you know? Uh, my phone's dead. Great. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not leaving my friend here alone. That's the worst thing I can imagine. I'll search every floor if I have to, but I need to be careful. Also, sun apparently is now beaming on my face. Probably. Let me look at my webcam. Eh, eh. Yeah, there's a bit of a light on my face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if I zoom up, yeah, then it's, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sit back in my chair. The brightness is probably gonna make it so it's harder to see the fucking game since it's so dark. Can I turn up the brightness? No, it's already broke. When you hear your heart pounding, you need to calm down. Use space to shut your eyes. Okay, okay. Blah. I need more batteries. Mike, there's that one guy. I don't think I ever caught his name. He's been asking me for ages when you're going to retire. I don't know why, but he really doesn't seem to like you. I meant to tell you, but it never seemed like a big deal. Sure. I don't care. If someone hates me at work, I'd be just like, say it to my face, bitch, or fuck off. That's basically how I would... how I'd be to someone in the workplace if they hated me. Then again, I don't recall anyone hating me in the workplace except for one person. Maybe it'd be a good time to bring up a story. I worked at Walmart once. Great place. I, I didn't have to deal with the weird fucking customers, you know, the, the customers everyone shows you on uh, social media where it's just like always weirdly creepy fat people and people that just look like, you know, they, they're wearing the give up on life pants, otherwise known as the sweatpants, or they're just really... They're just really weird people who usually go to Walmart. I think I dropped the keys on the other side if I find something under the slide on the door. Okay. Um, I worked at Walmart, but it was night shift. So I worked like 12 midnight to 7 a.m. Hunks of meat. I thought things like this happened only in movies. I'm going to be sick. I, I'm, I'm thinking their feet. More soda. Um, yeah, I worked for Walmart. What the fuck was I going to talk about Walmart, though? Now I can't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, the person I hated. that no, The person that, well, I hated and they hated me, apparently. Is, like, this one female who... Their mother and the daughter worked in the same Walmart, which is kind of weird. But the daughter... Me and the mother got along perfectly fine. And her daughter was, like, this fat, arrogant piece of shit. Like, oh my god. What? The door opened? Oh, great, the bathrooms. I love bathrooms. I remember the fucking bathrooms in Shadows being a creepy place. I remember. Not to mention, of course, it's like... I remember also there being like something in the reflection of the mirror. I can't wait to see that again. Uh, what the fuck? Ugh. But yeah, uh, she was such an arrogant bitch. I fucking hated her. She clearly hated me. I, I She only started hating me after I, I just basically told her to her face. I, I, we were just doing normal shit, stalking shit in the night. And she's bossing me around. I'm like, you're the same fucking, like, you're, you're a co-worker. You're the same rank as me. You don't boss me around. Shut the fuck up. Do your job. And... She just got, like, all sassy with me, and I was like, Wow, I didn't mean to hurt your pride. You're a little bit, uh, narcissistic, aren't you? And she's like... <sighs> like, I fucking hurt her pride even more, and she's just, How dare you call me a narcissist and arrogant? She's like, she just fucking snapped. Never since I called her arrogant and narcissistic, um, she's out to get me the entire time. So anything, anytime I did anything wrong or did anything bad or... Did anything I shouldn't have, or uh, like I was being silly, or said something, like told stories to other guys, or just talked in general, and I was maybe either swearing or just being silly, a goofball. She'd try to report me to management every fucking time. She'd snoop on me on every conversation. So she was some stalking little bitch who'd literally just like stalk everything I do just to find me doing something wrong in hopes to get me fired. She never did. But the fact that she went that far. Holy shit, she's fucking, you know, a fucking bitch. 
But that's the only time I've ever had trouble with a coworker. Did I go in the elevator again? No. But ever since that, I don't know, it was a just a temp job, it was seasonal. After eight months, I, I stopped working there, and, uh, I don't know. Even the mother got along fine. I told her, I was like, why is your daughter so arrogant? And she, she just, this is hilarious. Her mother, her own mother, was, I was asked her why her daughter's so arrogant, and she just sort of gave me this face, she was like, like, like she gave up on her own daughter. She sort of, sort of just shrugged it, and she's like, I, I, I don't know, she, she just does what she wants. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear your daughter. Ended up that way. I'm not gonna blame you, but I, I feel bad for you. And I don't know, we still got along. Weirdly enough. Um, other than that, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm assuming there's a key in one of these toilets. Or no, the character wanted a slip. Oh, here's a key. Oh, hello. I'm gonna close my eyes. Don't panic. Tell yourself the good shit. Don't panic. This can't be happening. Just stop. Those are good, calm words to tell. Does it happen every time I close my eyes? Oh, am I dreaming? Well, that, that's pretty cool. That, that's interesting. That is... Flashlight under your chin. Midnight society, I'm going to tell you a story. Also, the light's getting my face somewhere. I'm going to just shut up and continue moving. This might be like a two-part series for a fucking demo. But did my character say he wanted something to slip under the door, but instead I got the key anyways? No, this is for something else. Okay. I still need to slip something under the door to get the key. What's the key for? If it's not for this, and it's not for the left... Wait, what was I... What was the hand for? Oh, for this! Okay. I don't know what the key's for. Probably a door over here. This door. Oh, God. What the f Someone fucking throw a chair at me. Fuck you, chair. <laughs> I can actually shove the chair. Oh, that's great. It's like, fuck you. Or it says, like, did someone put... It's like in those kind of pranks where they have a... A chalk brush on top of the door. You open the door and the chalk brush falls on your head. Instead, someone somehow puts a chair, an office chair, on top of the door. It does not make any sense in this situation. But let's just imagine the chair was on top of the door and fell on my head. Or got thrown at me by a ghost. One or the other. Is my sand leaf... Oh, I'm, sh I'm literally shaking! Developer, take my advice. Don't say shaking. You have to type in literally shaking. Please. Please, for the love of God, please say literally shaking. I, I, I beg of you, I'll give you five dollars if you replace your shaking with literally shaking. <laughs> Seriously, I'll give you five bucks just to make it literally shaking. I fucking will. Drink. <laughs> literally shaking. That would be the best shit in this fucking game, I swear to fuck God. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what I mean when I'm saying literally shaking, it's a, it's a political meme. I won't get too much into it. Let me just read this. There is one, one guy. I don't think I ever caught it. Oh, it's the same note. This is it. This is my room. This is my office room. Just on a different floor. That doesn't make too much sense. A baby deer. Um, but why would I unlock this room unless I need something from it? Mm. Oh, hey, cup. Sure thing, let's drink the water. And we need that. Okay, what was I gonna say? Ah, uh, fuck. Shaking, the literally shaking meme, eh, for those that are unaware, it's basically a political meme where when Donald Trump won the presidential election, one of the things... I mean, that's not bad. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be lingerie. I'm sure this wasn't here a minute ago. You don't fucking think. You think that would stand out in an office if it was here before. Yeah, when Donald Trump won the presidential election, uh, one of the notable things that were people found hilarious were uh, liberals were going like fucking crazy saying they'd kill themselves and that they were all screaming and, and just like, you just, it was, it was chaotic. 
Go die, what the fuck? Oh, my vision. Oh, did I get attacked or something? I don't even. Okay, let me finish my story, because I'm gonna have to end this episode, I'm sure, really soon. Yeah, it's already been 21 minutes, okay. The sunlight, fuck me. Um, when he won the election, the liberals went really, really fucking crazy, saying they'd kill themselves. Oh, let's drink another soda. Um, a lot of them, the emphasis was a lot of them said literally in everything. So a lot of them were like, I'm literally shaking scared, or things like that. So a lot of people took saw a lot of people saying literally, 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 like I'm literally shaking. I'm literally afraid. I'm, I'm literally scared. I'm literally... You know, just everything was literal. Because a lot of people in the millennial generation apparently use literal for everything literal. Literally. Um, so it became a meme to emphasize that people are... It, just, it became a meme. So I love it, the developer. Since it says shaking, you might as well just say literally. You might as well. Hi there. Wow! Okay, well, my, my guy seems to be really into that mannequin. Okay, just just take it. Why did I take it? Why? Why? Why did I want to strip the mannequin? A goblet? Sh oh, okay, sure, I found a goblet. Okay. Okay, there's just a golden goblet. I don't know if there's any other secrets like that, but... Sure. Just, okay. But yeah, I think, I, I don't know how much longer this demo is, but I'm just gonna have to leave it here, because I don't want this video too long. It's already like 21 minutes, so sorry for it being too long, but I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully the next five minutes isn't the ending of the demo, and then it's another 10 or 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my ranting and this gameplay. Uh, hopefully things get escalate, because, you know, there's now more bodies than ever, so things might escalate and get more spooky. Thank you for watching. I hope you look forward to the next episode. Become Plus Skyburn. Until the next time. Hmm. Uh, what? Oh! Let's move! Okay, he's right there! Fuck! No! Okay. Wait, what? Uh, are you drugs? Hi! Drugs here? No, that's an arm. <laughs>